Thank you for using Starbucks. How can I get for you? Hi, can I get a iced caramel cloud macchiato? Starting the morning off right, boys. Full early AM Starb session. Yes, please. There's so much room for activity back here, boys. Woo! We're awake. We got, sh we got, I can't say that. We got stuff to get. Teach, did you tell them? I'm not awake yet. Mark four. Mark, Mark five? Mark four. Wheels. Benedict I'm, is not coming. I'm I don't not know coming. why he's here. I'm driving. He's not driving. I'm the boat. I'm driving. TJ has to edit the video for today to go up. Look at him. He's working hard. I'm just gonna. I'm the Uber. <laughs> Anyways. All right. Well, uh, get out of here. We gotta go. Goodbye. Okay, We're wasting time. Let's go. Okay, yeah, get, get out my car, bro. Before we get any farther in this video, it's time for our announcements of the day. Starting off with March 15th, we're gonna be at the Tuner Evo Anaheim Car Show. We're gonna be doing a meet and greet, and we're gonna have a pop up shop. So if you're in the SoCal area. You 100% need to come out to that. I'm gonna put all the ticket information down below and you can use code TJ, save yourself discounts on tickets. And also, Google Watch is coming out with this new limited edition watch on March 10th. It's more of a streetwear style watch and I absolutely love it. Head over to Movement's Instagram where you can sign up for their mailing list and their link in their bio. From there, you will get early access to purchasing this on March 10th. They only made about 500 of them and they gave me two of them. So one of them I'm keeping for myself and the other one I'm gonna be giving away to one of you guys. The way you guys can win that is by ordering something from Hunt Company to Today, I'm gonna to be picking one of you guys and throwing in this watch in the random order. If you're interested on anything that they sell, you can use code TJ10 and save yourself 10% off of anything. I just finished editing today's video. I am uploading it on the truck's Wi-Fi. We are about 20 minutes out. And we get our new wheels, baby! Oh, this is heaven on earth, boys. Yeah, yeah. So this is Mackin Industries, and for those who don't know Mackin, they are responsible for bringing in all the wheels from Yokohama, Advan, Volk. So then you get Yokohama. T37s, not that, not that at all. You're gonna have to be able to maneuver this truck. Do you think you can do that? I'm, I'm just gonna. We've been here before. We got the T37s for the RX-7. So if you've been watching for that long, shout out to you, and you'll remember where we are. But this place is just amazing because there's all the best wheels ever from Japan. I can tell. We can tell. We're gonna show them a little bit. Can't look at it. Not until we're in the shop, baby. You wanna get a make proper, them? We gotta do a proper unboxing. Okay, all right. That's the only hint you'll get. Boom, boom. Here's another one. Machine logo. They're gonna see it if I move my thumb. Don't move your thumb now. Dang. Spicy. We just looked outside too. The color. Mint. Hey. Oh my god. All right, we got him in the back. You guys will see it. Shout out to Rory for helping us out as always. Mac and we love you. Let's start this drive home so you can test fit this. Real fitment might be really aggressive. Or I'm pretty sure it's very aggressive. So I didn't order tires just yet because I, I don't want to get something that won't fit, if that makes sense. So we're going to test fit first. So we're going to drive home. <sighs> what are you breathing so hard? Yeah, I'm parked here so much knees. It's hard. My legs are tired. My glutes are on fire. My glutes. And you ain't vibing with me, T. My vibe is hurt. All right, boys. Time to start this drive home. Excuse me, sir. I can't feel that. It's like day 14. No one has noticed me yet. With the mag blue on the white, reminds me of the FD. You can show that. Yes, I can. Track car. We're in Mexico. <laughs> Got him. What'd you say? He said, no thank you, but that would be okay. No thank you, but that would be okay. No thank you, but right. yes, please. Sleepy so baby. So for those of you who are not currently caught up, we have HRE 540s on the Supra. Originally I got these wheels for the RX-7, and I originally got Volk TE37 SLs for this car in mag blue. I loved the color of the mag blue wheels, but they really just didn't do enough for me on the black car. And then when I realized that I could switch the fitments on the Mazda and on the Toyota, I was like, dude, let's do it. And this is just a high look arguably one of the best looks you can ever do on this car and even when we change up to the new wheels this still might be my preferred look at the end of the day but it's time for a change up boys and now we're switching it up this color is so amazing we ended up going with Advan GTs in dark bronze. Oh my god. It's always hard to pick up colors on camera because I don't feel like this camera can pick up this color, but it just looks so good in this finish. The closest color I know to this is imagine like bronze TE37s with that flat finish. This is a little bit darker and it's shot in like a metallic gloss. So there's just a 
bunch of detail in this color. And when they're clean and the sun hits it right, it's just a beautiful looking wheel. So these are our square setup, which is why we're gonna have to test fit them. And I wanna make sure that I don't get a tire that's too big. Mackin told me that the sizes to run on the Mark IV are 18 by 10 with a 40 offset all around. That is a pretty large wheel to run in the front. So that's why I'm a little bit concerned. We might have to run a little bit smaller tire in the front versus the back. So we're gonna throw these on the car. Kinda just get a little test fit to see how gnarly it really is. One of the biggest reasons why I wanted to get new wheels is because I wanted to run more meat on the back. And I want to be able to run as close to a 300 or honestly as much of a tire as I can on the back. So run a 10 inch wheel. Arguably we could push like a 295, maybe even like a 300, maybe a 305. I don't have to do some research, but we're obviously not gonna be running a 300 in the front. So we're gonna have to go as minimal as we can, maybe like a 265 in the front. It will make sense why we're being so picky about it once it's on the car. They're like, oh, dude, we got some new luggies for you. These are some spicy luggies. Yeah, they're super dope. The ones we have in the car are also dope, and they're also from them, and we got those last time, and they're like, dude, you need to update it, get some new ones, so shout out to them. And we also, Cal, we Sorry, splurged. sorry, I gotta censor, censor that. We splurged. Should I show them? Show them. Open oh, up is, the, is what's in the box? box? Oh, wrong ones, team. What's in the box? Open up the box. We splurged, Ev, look what I splurged on. You, sp you splurged? I got Ooh. the mag blue T37 caps. Oh, for that. This is an additional bonus. When you buy the wheels, you don't get the caps. You gotta go extra for the caps. Wait, why are they so dirty? They're just luby. Don't wipe it They're with like your shirt. Up. Ooh, that is nice. Metal to aluminum. I know. Let's nice. yeah, slap these on. Oh, you're gonna put it on there? It's oh. Nice and dirty. Why don't I put it right here? Oh, you need a ladder. Oh, he is macking. Ooh. They don't oh, fit. Oh, they're the wrong ones. Marina, they say you're fine, but you're really not fine. They you ask you enter me and when they ask you how you are yeah. and you say that you're fine, but you're not fine, but you just can't get into it right yeah, now. Exactly. No! They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. Sorry, dude. No! You gotta go drive back up there. <laughs> no! Oh, it's so far away. Congratulations, you played yourself. Never play yourself, Never dude. play yourself. Never play yourself. Fuck, oh, there's a the wrong. Right here. It doesn't fit. <sighs> What's in the box? It's the oh! Pizza. It's the pizza. It's the 18? 18 inch pizza? 18 inch. 18 inch pizza. Yo. I like that. Machined. That's, That's really nice. Super dope. It looks like it'll fit. The bronzy color. Where's that cap? Wait, what is it? What is that? It's, uh, it's a tire stem. And then we also splurged and bought the center caps for this as well. Oh, there's a little grease packet, so it's a squeaker rated. It's a square fitment. Evan says they're not gonna fit. Let's no, find out if he's right. That's what he said. He said that he said they're not gonna fit. I don't know why you want a square fitment on a super. <laughs> That's what they said. We're gonna jack this car up, we're gonna throw them on the front, throw them on the back, see how they fit. And see if we can guess how much tire we can run. Get in there, Tej. He's excited. Look at him, lads. Hey, okay, okay. Woo! <laughs> Woo! I'm hot, baby! Oh! Mm. Wow, the car is so dirty on camera, but that looks really good. How much meat can you run on a 10? How much meat? 300. Like 275 is square, so and maybe a 295. I don't know if you could do a 305. Maybe a 295 would be good. You really want to get as much as you can, and there's yeah. a lot of room on the inboard side, which is fine. Dude, I want to go Meat City, Utah. Like, that is not a place. Yeah, <laughs> you guys have never been there? Dude, that place is great. No, dude, I'm sorry, dude. We're about to go there, actually. This is the one that I'm a little bit worried about. You got your fenders pre-rolled, dude. There's tons of inboard room. I read on forums that some people said that they touch close to the stock shock. But I guess if you have coils, it doesn't matter. Front. Well, you are, you are fender to lip. You're sticking lip, Tej. Did you already roll that? Is that why that? No, that's like that's, that's like fitment roll. This is is from running those T37s. 
You know, oh, you it, know what? It's the same. How fit. much you want to bet those TE 37s are the same fitment? Do you remember what they are? No, but if I'm running like a 265 up here, upon a time. So fitment in the front is very aggressive. It's flush, which I'm pretty sure when I had the TE 37s on this car it was pretty much the same thing. And if you look up close, we got some we got some use and abuse on this. These fenders got caught a few times with the TEs on there and chip the paint and it's just something that I've just kind of accepted and one day I'll get these repainted. So we'll probably get pretty close here with rubbing. So we're gonna have to be careful about that. Gonna have to run the smallest tire we can on the front without it like stretching because I still wanna have like a track set up on this car because I've been thinking about, there's a couple track days I wanna go and take this car to. And then in the rear, we can throw on a big piece of meat in the back and we can finally fit our big brake kit on this car. And it almost makes me wish I didn't sell those big Brembo ones we once had, but we got some cool ones coming in that's gonna help us out a little bit. But I just love how much you can see on this wheel. Like, it's very open, and you when you have a big brake kit behind that, it looks super good. And for those of you who don't know, the Advan GTs are very, very close to the TEs, except the TEs have six spokes, the Advans only have five. But more or less the same wheel. I just got an interesting phone call, and if you watch the end of the last video of the Mark V when we did the speaker upgrades, I gave a little sneak peek at the end of the video about a certain car that we're supposed to be getting before everyone else, and I just got a call that we need to book flights right now to fly to the other side of the country tomorrow night to pick up our new car. So, that being said, we're gonna end this now. I have to, not end this now, we're gonna leave right now. Uh, we have to do some researching on some flights and figure out what time we wanna get there and stuff like that. We're gonna be flying to Pennsylvania. More on that when we get home, but let's pack up and get out of here. Road trip, Tanamongu. We're gonna go see Tanamongu at Tanacon. Road trip. Road trip. The real question is, are we keeping the Aveni after we get the C8? I mean, it's the same car, right? That's messed up. Yeah, I was. that up. was actually a lie, and I That's regret everything up. I just said because that would never, ever, ever, ever happen. TJ's about to go really fast in this car for me because I've never been in this car yet. You've never been in this car. That uh, blows my mind. Like... When you think of a manual transmission car and it's slamming through gears, the Venti slams through gears. Okay, I've never been in this car yet because when TJ first got it, he drove Benedict and then he had to go home. And ever since, never been in the car, but that was... I need one. It's fast. It's I like... need one. Oh God. Yeah, I was planning on calling him when I leave today. Okay, I'll, I'll text him. His plan is, but yeah, I would text him, and if not, I can have somebody pick you up at the airport and bring you in. Okay, all right, all sounds right. good. Cool. Sounds good, buddy. All right, thanks, Matt. Yeah. Bye. We uh, got confirmation that our C8 is leaving the place where it's at right now in Michigan. I don't really know where it is, but we need to go and pick it up this weekend. So I'm actually looking at flights right now. Um, we're gonna be flying in to. Pennsylvania on Friday morning. We're gonna do a red-eye flight. So I'm just looking at flights right now. Calvin and I are pretty much, so by the time you guys are watching this, this video is going out on Friday, and Friday is when we are gonna be landing in Pennsylvania and taking delivery of the C8. So if you don't wanna wait, follow my Instagram at tjhunt underscore, or check out TikTok or whatever. But Calvin and I, I think, are gonna road trip it from Pennsylvania all the way down 40 hours to California. What better way to break in a car than a road trip across the country? Am I right? Maybe. Don't I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna promise this, but we might be doing like improv meetups throughout the U.S. I'm not quite sure if you live anywhere in between San Diego and Pennsylvania. Hit us up. Maybe we'll stop by, do a collab video. I don't quite know, but I can't believe this is happening. I never thought I would ever cross country because I just heard it's just miserable. But we're gonna make a fun trip out of it. All right, boys. I got a little present for you guys. 
So as you guys know, this camera sometimes gets uh, a weird pubic hair. I can't see it now. Oh, there it is, right there, you see it? That little thing right there is stuck on the inside of the lens and I'm not able to clean it. So, I went ahead, boys. I got us a new camera. We're about to leave for our trip tonight to uh, Pennsylvania. And we had a lot of stuff to do, which is kind of why I didn't end the video yesterday. We have a bunch of little things to tie up today as far as just getting ready to go. And one of the things is I had to pick up this cord for my passport radar detector that I want to get. I want to bring that for us on the cross country drive. And I should be able just to swap over you, swap over the SD card in this one. This is like my eighth one of these cameras. I'm gonna set it up and then we're gonna switch to the new cam. In three, two, one. Do you notice a difference? Maybe, hopefully, you kind of do, but the biggest thing is, look, when you look at the sunlight, there's no, there's no pubes. Pubes are gone. And for everyone who keeps asking if they could buy this other one, I literally keep like three of these as backup cameras at all times, so I held on to them. I'm sorry, boys. You're not gonna get any cameras from me. And before we go on this trip, we gotta grab one of the new shirts coming out for myself, so I ain't naked on camera, medium. Large check. Need to grab a license plate frame so we don't look silly. Glasses for the road. And we absolutely need a jet tag. I'm excited, I'm gonna end the video here. We're about to fly out to Harrisburg tonight. We're gonna have an amazing time. I'll see you guys literally in the next day or so because we're gonna be doing daily vlogs until we're back. Thank you so much for watching, peace out. If you haven't already hit that thumbs up button, baby. And I'll see you guys next time. Keep moving forward.